look at that. There's an elk or a deer right here. And I just passed two, uh, two other ones right when I turned into this road. So I'm in Red Rocks. We're heading out to the Red Rocks Amphitheater. I'm just gonna give you a, uh, just a drive through this gorgeous area. I just wanna show you how cool it is out here. And just look at that. That's so cool. It's a little baby elk and a mom, I guess. That's incredible. So here we are, Red Rocks uh, Amphitheater is up here. There's so many cool trails up here too. Uh, we just hiked one the other day and then uh, we've hiked a bunch so far in just two weeks, but there's so many trails to check out here. Uh, so we just did one here at the Red Rocks, uh, close to the Red Rocks Amphitheater. Let's just take, roll down the window so you can see better. Pretty sweet. And I love these roads too, even though it's, you know, super slow, which is totally understandable but they're still so scenic and so fun to just check out and see. Thank you very much, sir. It's like a little roller coaster here. Just gorgeous. 73 degrees and it's October 3rd today. Before I moved to Colorado, I would think October it would be in the 50s, maybe a little rainy, but this is just beautiful. I'm in t-shirt and shorts, <laughs> so I'm not cold at all. And look at these rock formations here. So the trail, I think we went around these rocks when we went on that trail. Man, I love it out here. I am so happy that we moved. Winter is coming. Before that, I want to do uh, some sort of just normal camping just to get the, you know, my camping feet wet before I want to try a, uh, a hardcore winter camping, which is going to be fun too. Uh, just learn to cook how to cook and what I need all the stuff. I need I don't, I don't I'm gonna try to not Overdo it. I don't want to be too comfortable. That's not the point of camping the camping is to me at least I want to get out there and Challenge myself and be a little uncomfortable. That's the whole point with it Because what that does is it kind of makes you appreciate everything else that you have in your daily lives so when you go out and camp and when you do something challenging like that. So I guess the Red Rocks is right up here. I'm not sure exactly where this road is taking me. I guess we're gonna have to find out. So the previous uh, trail I went to, something crazy happened that I never expected to happen with my light bar. <clears throat> I don't know if you've seen my Instagram story, but uh, the light bar brackets that I got with the light bar itself, they completely broke off because of the washboard, sort of washboard uh, road. It was too much vibration, so the whole thing just broke off on one side and it was almost completely broken on, uh, on, the, uh, on the other side. So here seems to be a stop sign. I guess I'm gonna just turn around. See where we can go. There's some people taking some photos here. Let's just go back down, I guess. And uh, it's gonna be just as pleasant as driving up this place. So I guess this is one of the parking lots. They have several big parking lots like this for the amphitheater when they have uh, shows, obviously. They need enough, enough space for all the parking and stuff. But uh, let's just cancel this and route and just cruise around here a little bit. So if you're ever in the Denver area, I would definitely come out just to check out 
this, for example, this view. This, these views are something that we, you know, you can't have a view like this in Florida where you can see my eyes are kind of not used to seeing this far because there's always something in between you and the horizon unless you're on the beach. But this just looks like Jurassic Park out here. I'm just waiting for a T-Rex to jump out and that would be pretty sweet. But uh, obviously that's not gonna happen. Instead we're gonna have some elk down there. The baby, baby uh, elk and the mom is just chilling around. And I've also noticed that in Colorado it's the first time I used the gear gear limit on on here. So you have these buttons right here for the top gear or uh, how many gears you're gonna allow the transmission to go up to. Sort of en engine braking on the way down. Never used that in Florida because everything's flat, obviously. But uh, it works pretty well. I'm not using the brakes at all right now. I'm in second gear. And we're slowly going downhill at 22 miles per hour. Wonder why that road was closed up there. It wasn't last time. Maybe there's an event or something going on. Not sure. Doesn't really matter. So what are we gonna do now? We're gonna drive through uh, Morrison and uh, check that little town out. I love that little place because it's, uh, I think they have uh, 400 people living in, in, in the town of Morrison. I technically live in Morrison too, but not in this town that we're gonna pass. So we're gonna drive through that and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. There are some really cool uh, restaurants and uh, small businesses there that I think is cool and it just feels like a cozy little town hopefully the elks that are on that I saw when I came in here are still here that would be really nice I guess there is some sort of event today because they have a guy at the entrance too So yeah, the bracket that fell off on my light bar, <laughs> that was so weird. When you get a light bar, you expect it to at least hold up for a little vibration, but that just totally broke off. So what I'm gonna do now, I have an open space uh, in the front end, uh, in the lower part of the grill that uh, I had the piece for, but when we moved, I saw that piece in the garage and I thought this is just scrap, so I just threw it away. And I realized what it was when I actually needed it, like um, two days ago. I figured, ah shit, I threw that stuff away. So I'm gonna try and have some uh, garage, some shop or something like that, some welder or custom fabrication to uh, hopefully get the light bar reinstalled as quickly as possible because I want to cover up those pieces that uh, the stock... Uh, oh, look at that. There's there is a lot of elk right there. Or deer. I'm not sure if those are elk or deer. One of one of them for sure. <laughs> so yeah, if you know any shop in uh, Colorado that does uh, in Denver, specifically in the Denver or Boulder area, I do have a couple of suggestions. I'm gonna check those out. Thanks to Andre from TFL Truck for uh, letting me know about those. I actually. I uh, messaged him yesterday and asked for some suggestions and he gave me two shops so hopefully one of those shops will be able to reinstall my uh, my light bar and cover that thing up that I don't want to have open because I can see all the mechanicals back there. So this is the town of Morrison right here. Pretty cozy town. And uh, this is pretty much downtown. There we have a dog. Oh, there's a garage right here. Maybe they can do some welding for me. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I should just ask them if they can help me out with that. And that was pretty much downtown Morrison. <laughs> so it's not a big, uh, it's not a big town, that's for sure. But I really like it because it feels, as I said, very, very cozy. 
And when we get out here, we're basically back to uh, civilization when we get out of Morrison here. So put the windows back up. I have a rock in my tire, I can hear it. I'm gonna poke that thing out. So yeah, that was just a quick video. I just wanted to give you an update on uh, what's going on and just say hello. It's been a while here on the channel. Uh, next up is probably gonna check out some trails, upload that here to the channel as well before I go and do an overnight camp somewhere uh, where I find... Uh, I gotta go check out some trails first and see where I want to spend my first night in the tent. So that's coming up here on the channel. Thanks for watching. And as, again, if you have any suggestions on uh, where you want me to go in this area and film, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks and I'll see you in the next video.